playing. Hey everybody, today we're going to be playing a control movement Scoia'tael deck. The deck focuses on moving your opponent's units into rows so that you can clear them all off with a Scorch or a Geralt Igni. You have uh, Aethne uh, or Enya who can hit units one after another, four hits, and make. And you don't have to do them all at once. You can do them between multiple rounds. You want to get your opponent's units even so you can get a big Scorch off. Without further ado, we're going to go into a match. It's pretty self-explanatory, and I don't want to go too much in depth because a lot of these cards are subject to change before the end, uh, before they change things in the uh, final release. There's some things that might be a result of bugs, and there might be balance changes that we're not aware of. Uh, if you want to watch more footage of this deck, I'm going to have a link in the description to a longer video. where I uh, <laughs> make a couple mistakes. I'm probably going to make mistakes in this video anyways, because, you know, it's like you're getting into... Uh, there will be game. no negotiation. So my, you might notice the number on my opponent's character went up to four. That's the amount of mulligans they get. I get three uh, because I go, I'm going second, kind of quote-unquote won the uh, coin toss. So let's see, is there anything I want to get rid of in this hand? Um, I don't need two of these, that's about it. Everything, and I don't need this right now, okay. So I'm going to finish redrawing, save my last mulligan for the end of the game. So this card right here is a trap, I can trap that with Scorch if he decides to use it. I have, um, Okay, let's go look see what the Woodland Spirit. Set the power of a unit in your hand to 10. Mm. Very useful to know that he has 10 because I have Scorches and Ignis in my hand. Um, you want to be careful with uh, artifacts, traps. So he's buffing something, he has to play a card then. If he plays it in the Siege Row, I'm going to uh, whack it with my Dothwana Bowman. Okay, we got an egg. Spawn a Harpy. So these cards are... Uh, so he has a kind of a death wish thing going on here. Hmm. I don't really mind death wish cards at the moment. So I'm going to just play these I two. Shall not fail. End my turn. Hmm. I could kill his death wish card. I'm just not sure worried if uh sure if I want to. I'm not sure if this would pull out a roach. So the idea is I'm going to play both my neophytes. Tom Foolery, enough. So he's playing that. Okay, I'll play another neophyte. Or I could just scorch all three of them. It's 12 point scorch. Might as well. I could get another 12 point scorch if I kill off the uh Actually It's gonna pop. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. 16 point scorch. And I get Roach. <clears throat> Pretty big turn, yeah? <laughs> it was a uh, 20 point play. Uh, no, not a 20 point play. It was a 24 point play. So that's his. Uh, big unit. If he buffs it up with the tactical advantage, I can kill it with Igni. My opponent probably... Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, he played 10 points. I'll play another uh, Neophyte. None shall tread on us. And I'll pass. Hmm. Forget what this does. 
play an artifact from your graveyard. He didn't have an artifact in his graveyard. Not that I can destroy that. If he keeps boosting it. Oh, well, it's, it's... He misplayed, I guess. Well, he's only three points ahead of me. I don't really care about replaying that. Um, so here I can think about whether or not I want to whack him. Uh, I could destroy an artifact. The problem is that I don't really fear that card. I'll just put this here. It's a pretty big card to dedicate to a round. Okay. Is he going to use his tactical advantage? So I could whack it, and that is a possibility, or I could just lock it. Do I have an order on this? And I can move it to another row. An ill wind. Oh, sorry. Okay. And mm. it's no longer uh, blocked. I get my card. I used a lot of gold. I use a scorch. I have four golds on board. I have two golds in hand. I'm not really upset if he uses his um, tactical advantage at this point because it's not enough points. I have a huge point advantage on my opponent. He misplayed uh, this card because he didn't have any we artifacts. We know the mysteries of time and space, all of them. Okay. Now it's questionable whether or not I want to uh, continue playing out this match. Because I could easily just pass and I win. Around. Yeah, it's probably best that I just pass. If he uh, resilience it again, I will still win. Yes, play another card to win this round. This flips. I move around. I can get two card advantage on my opponent going into the last round. I could have Geralt Igni that thing, but I don't need to. It's not important. I have artifact destruction, which is nice. Okay. Uh, I don't want to use any of my uh, mulligans. I'm going to pass. Let him play another. Oh, actually, that was a mistake. Eh, I'll still have a card advantage on my opponent going in to the final round. It just, it won't be two, it'd just be one. So I should have played out a little bit longer. Yeah. It's one of those uh, iffy things about this game is that I can have at least one card advantage. It's not the end of the world. I'll live. Okay, what do I lose? It's a weak, it was a four for revision card, so I'm not that worried. So I have one card advantage instead of two, which is, uh, I should have thought about that before I passed. These cards, I think, are pretty good. Uh, I probably... I'm not sure if I need... Uh, I'm going to want some movement, just in case I want to use that. I'll push at you. Hey, okay, Ragnarok's really good. <laughs> I traded a 4 provision for a 12 provision card. So, <laughs> I'm happy. You're going to hear me say provision a lot. Um, each card has a provision value. Provision value is roughly one point per uh, provision. Uh, if it's flexible, then it has more. If it has a conditional thing, where it's sometimes good, sometimes bad, it usually gets you more value if you can get the high end of the uh, thing. Uh, I could I should have played out the second round longer because I have my leader ability. Okay. So that's a good card for me. I'm going to play probably the Farseer first. Farseer is a card that he wants to kill. Not afraid? You should be. 
And the chances of Farseer getting a good card is really high. He don't, like, there are a few bad cards left in my deck, like Cleaver. That won't trigger it. Okay, that's ideal. Well, it's ideal for me because it's uh, easier for me to uh, punish that. Now, this is probably going to end up getting... Um, I could kill all four of these if I wanted to. I assume my opponent's going to pass. Uh, there are things like the Ale card. So I'm going to first reveal that, get my six points. Okay, well I know he's probably going to play the game. Ooh. Yeah, it's probably just best to do this. Punish him for having stuff in that lane. Get rid of those Arako spores. Save my leader ability until the end. I know it's not as many points, but I know he wants to stack that lane, so I'm going to punish that. I can move other things into that lane after, later with the... Um, Dragoon. These are not beasts, so he didn't actually trigger this. So this was a mistake. Forfeit. Okay. So sometimes your opponent makes a lot of mistakes. In this case, I think my I'm still very happy about how I handled the first round. My opponent played a lot of provisions to get a big board. Um, it's easily countered to doing the uh, Witcher big board <laughs> tactic. It's like, I'm going to have all this stuff. Uh, I made a few mistakes too. I'm not too upset about it. Generally speaking, you want to use... Um... I respect nothing human. Okay, so I lost, so I'm going to go first. You want to use uh, Enya's ability every turn. Okay, so there's a lot of cards. This card's probably worthless in its current state. Um, so that's good, that's good. Artifact destruction's really strong against this kind of opponent. Probably not going to need this. Don't want that. I don't want that. I'll keep that. I'll save my mulligans for later. So, tactical advantage is not the easiest card to use, but you do want to use it as soon as possible. None shall tread on us. Uh, I'm going to use it like maybe first or second card I play. You don't want to give them a good cleaver is the issue. But they're going to... Like, if they have cleaver, they're going to use it. There's nothing much you can do about it. I'll get it done. Okay, this has immune whenever you play a Skoytel unit. So I can get rid of that card fairly easily. This means that my opponent's gonna keep taking damage on that. It's I'm playing it. I'm trading a gold for a gold. I go. I do want to use this tactical advantage, but it really depends on how everything pans out. Another option was to scorch that unit. I think I have a fairly safe situation, anyways. Oh, my little day. Uh, this has to be in melee. Uh, well, I guess. He... I'm surprised it couldn't heal. Okay. Did it not trigger? It might be a bug. You can see these row effects are back from a version of Gwent that had them. Okay. 
I'm gonna play this into the melee row. I was hoping you'd say that. And I'm going to boost this. And then I'm gonna pass. Hmm. It really should have been able to heal that. Oh, it's because it's immune, that's why. It can't be healed because it's immune. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Okay, well they pass. I'll pass, happily. We're going to go to even. I lose my tactical advantage. We both used at least one gold card. Okay. I'm going to push out the uh, weakest cards in my hand. A fudge. I should have saved... Ugh, my Illyrian's now in my hand. I can't get rid of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. There's not much I can do about that. Uh, I'll open up with a... Uh, not farcier. afraid. You should be. Uh, having Illyrian in my hand is sad. It could have uh, avoided that. Again, you shouldn't use all your mulligans right away like that. If you could draw into something bad, don't draw. So I'm going to make my opponent use their removal effect to get rid of a four provision cost card. Got business for me. Okay. That's a card that I can remove fairly easily. I'm going to use my cleaver to get rid of it. I'm going to use my sapper. Okay, we can now look at what that was. That was incineration trap. So I know that my opponent's using a, a trap deck. And they need a pass for me to be able to do anything. Ow. Okay, a pass. Give them a trap. So it's either odd or even, that's how that works. So it's gonna hit me by two, which is fine. My cards aren't dead. I'm gonna pass. My opponent has to at least play one card. If I had a trap out, uh, so he can flip over his own trap. That kills one of my cards. Some, uh, not all traps can be flipped, I don't think. Some of them have the order ability. Like, this card has order. You can f force it to flip. Some cards flip over three turns. Some will flip at the end of a, when an opponent passes. So this is either a spike pit, which will flip on the third turn and damage something by three. Wow. Okay. So he can't just pass here. Um, unless... Uh... <laughs> okay. It flips and I win. <laughs> and my opponent didn't really calculate into that. Sometimes you get free wins. What can you say? Okay. Let's do one more last match for the sake of it. My opponents haven't been all that good. You might be wondering why I didn't just instant pass in the uh, second round. It's because I would have overdrawn. You have a hand limit of 10. Okay. I, I won the nothing human. I won uh, the coin flip, so I'm going second. Okay. Uh, let's push that out. I think this was a decent hand. It's a lot. Some of these are hard to decide with. 
I really don't like Farseers, so I'm going to push it out. I'm going to save my other uh, Mulligan just in case I get something bad in the final round. So what's this? Whenever you reveal a card, damage random anima enemy. Okay. Okay. Humans are not to be trusted. And uh, I don't have any scorch effects or anything like that, so I don't need to worry about. Ha. Ha. Actually, this is a bad idea to use ha. that ability. I should wait until at least three cards have been played. Okay, this is a random row. So he gets four points off that, so he's at ten. Hmm. So, uh, he's at ten. I shall not fail! I'm at three elves. Played a cheap card. I forget what his ability is. Move a card from your of hand. Course, as you wish, Master. Draw a card, then place a card from your hand to the top of your deck. Interesting. This is a card you want to play whenever you get a good value from it. So wow. do that. It's a seven, uh, it's a six provision card. Enough. Okay. Okay, uh, I want to play an elf card at this point. So I can play this. This will be six points plus, uh, so it's pl It's more than enough. You're dead already. Okay, and I pass. Hmm. comes onto the board. Stolen. Now, ah. in a... Move a card back your hand, play something else. I have a great Yaven for now. My opponent could pass. So he takes four damage, reveal the thing. So how many points is Yaven? One, two, three, four, five, six. He's six. I could do better. Well, I want to have a. I want to have at least four points. I have no artifacts that I want to play. So I can play Yaven now. It's, pro it's probably not going to get any better. Boom. Seven. Oh, I forgot it counts itself. Ah. Wise choice. Okay. Ow. <laughs> okay. So now I can pass in safety because he'll have to play two cards. Another card to win. The round, there's no point in um, pushing it any further. There Either way, no I'm going to get card advantage. You played a gold card. He's played a lot of gold cards in this first round. I'm really happy about that. Now, if I had Scorch, I could do that awesome thing I did before. In this case, I have to play out this round. Okay. I don't think I'm going to need to destroy two... No. I should probably get rid of the lower... Discipline. Card. That is what you folk lack. Okay, don't place something in the uh, front row for that. It'll be easily punished. Um, so, I'm going to place this up here. Not afraid? You should be. Don't place anything in the melee row. Okay, so whatever I do, I'm going to uh, have to play another card. Not much I could have done about it. So I'm going to place the uh, relatively cheapest one I have. Oh, I could have, uh, I could have, I could have, uh, I could have used my leader ability on the previous round. I missed that. I could have had more card advantage. My bad. It happens. Uh, I forgot that my leader ability resets. <laughs> okay. Um, I got a victory. Okay. Pretty easy. Uh, you gotta remember your leader ability. I did. I did. <laughs> uh. 
There will be no negotiation. Okay. This is a great hand. Um, so let's get rid of the lowest provision cards. And we'll save the rest of the mulligans for later. I'm going to start off with this. Your tricks will not save you. Dwarf. I'm going to use my tactical advantage because it will be no, it will be easily destroyed by that. But it's not like it's no harm. Epidemics are popular because of that. Now we will see who is weak. Um, I could have dropped one of the sappers because I have plenty of removal for it. I actually could have done this and a tactical advantage because it's fairly safe. Okay, what's this card? Whenever a unit with order of charge is placed, give it one charge. So uh, this is a great opportunity to just play this. I'm a dwarf of Kill business. you. And then boost. Another option was to uh, just whack it. So he's playing an order deck. So he has three charges of zeal. Okay. Now. Feel like this is a good card to play. Gonna increase my elves. And I'm gonna just kill this card. Ha. Ha. Another ah. option was to play another. <clears throat> if he passes, so be it. Um, another option was. Ha. So he's gonna zeal that. <clears throat> So how many elves do I have? I have one, two, and three. It's not going to be easy to get all five. Okay. I think Yavin's safe here. He has reach two, so I need to put him in the main row. Pass. Probably not worth doing that. But if he ends up playing this round out, Uh, I think it's a good time to pass. You'll have to play at least one more card. I don't think I can get pieces priceless. Whack. Okay, he has to play another card. Oh. He's gonna play it's his last uh, thing, which is probably worth it. <laughs> All things considered, we're gonna tie with me having card advantage and with me ha still having my leader ability. Another option was if I had um, pecked him one more time, uh, I probably would have gotten two more card advantage. Uh, okay, what to take out? He doesn't have hard removal as far as I can see. Um, I'm not seeing much use for that. I can push this out. Push that out. Eh, bad. Maybe having I'm the a stink uh, of my folk. Tiberi, that's what matters. Ah, uh, head artifact removal. <laughs> okay, I had so much artifact removal. Ah, fuck. So. There's not an easy way for, uh, there's no way for me to remove that. So, 
Damage a unit by two. That's all it does. Okay. I didn't get a lot of cards I wanted. I'll just do this. Hmm. It's gonna get destroyed probably. Oh, I'll use this. Does it destroy an artifact? Yeah, it does. Order. <clears throat> destroy. Uh, sure. Deploy. Melee destroy an enemy artifact. I didn't destroy that. Yeah. Confusing. Peace with humans? I buy thus. This allows me to use these and get value. Left, right, left, right. Okay. So we're going to see if we can hit that. Wow. We didn't, so we're going to have to use our... Uh, leader ability to whack it three times. Aha. Ha. Ha. We're gonna save our last one, and we're gonna pass. Okay, we're gonna play probably play Melina next. <clears throat> gonna pop boost. No, oh, he didn't do it. Oh, okay. Okay, and we pass. <sighs> it protects it from being destroyed, but there's not much I can do about that. So So if I do this, I can do two damage to it, and then one would not be uh, low enough for me to capture it. Uh, so I can do this. Onward, Move it away. That lowers its rain effective range. That protected my Milena from being killed, which is why I did it that way. So I can heal it by four, which is probably better. Oh my. Okay, that gets it down to two. I will pass. Mm. We will take back my Illyrian appears onto the board on the melee row, which it always does. My opponent forfeits. I had eight points not showing, which was nice. And I was going to eventually be able to steal a unit from my opponent, which is nice. 